Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for July the 17th and 18th. I'm adding the 17th because it is the new moon in Cancer energy. And as I was just tuning in for it, so happy new moon in Cancer. As you know, the, can the moon rules Cancer, so it's at home here. It's a beautiful new moon, the new moon in Cancer. And so the feeling I got was all this energy coming down, like new light codes, new um, messages, new higher um, messages of higher potential that were activating here with this new moon energy that's coming in. So, yeah, it was um, quite amazing. And so I feel like there's going to be opportunities to open your mind and connect to this coming through from this new moon. It might not necessarily be on the new moon, but further down the track as the, we progress through the the growth after the new moon I feel like perhaps in the next week or two there's opportunity to connect to these new light codes that are coming down so we have the queen of wands the other big player that's happening this week is Venus in Leo and I think that is very much this queen of wands energy so let's see this sense of what is it that you're wanting what is it that you're attracting into your life at this moment and you might be attracting some good things or some compliments or some kind of validation or recognition with that Queen of Wands. Or Okay, next to the devil, maybe for some of you, you might be feeling a bit stuck. The Five of Wands. Oh, the Ten of Wands. Okay. The King of Wands. Okay, my goodness. And the world. My goodness. Okay, so... There is the Cardinal Grand Cross happening with this new moon energy and that would be Pluto in Capricorn. We're seeing the devil there, which is the Pluto energy. It's uh, Everything's happening at these um, degrees that represent endings here. So the Queen of Wands is looking at the King of Wands going, what are we going to do with this? I'm. This is how I'm feeling. I'm feeling really stuck with something or there's an energy that's just been around for too long that felt like it's been testing me. It's potentially felt like it's been draining me. It's felt like I've dedicated myself to this thing for way too long or given it too much energy. It can be the energy of burnout. I just can't give any more to that. And she's looking at it going, I don't know what to do here. What do we do about this thing in my life? How do we take action? And it's like this dialogue between the Queen of Wands, which is your internal energy, and the Wands like to take action, being fire, initiate things. And so... And they can be very impetuous. They're just looking at going, we've got a problem here with this devil, the five of wands, the ten of wands. And the king of wands is going, yes, I see that. There's something going on here. And there's this sort of evaluation energy of going, what is this thing that's come up here that feels like it's, or who is this? The devil can represent a situation or a person that I feel like these two are just kind of going, right, I feel like it's, dividing us perhaps in a way or we feel like we're both being given this problem and we have to work out how to solve it and deal with it and how to move forward. Now, this might be you and another person, but it might also be your divine feminine and the king of wands is like, yeah, I'm seeing that some sort of action needs to be taken here because there's something that's just really not working. And there actually could be these new ambitions that are coming through for them because the devil energy can represent ambition. The five of wands can represent, is a competitive energy as well. Um, really like wanting to test things out and try on these new possibilities and these new ambitions. But next to the 10 of wands, perhaps this can, this can also be dedication, wanting to dedicate yourself to these new things that are coming through. But at the same time, um, it's like, I need to get rid of the more negative side of the devil, the five of wands and the ten of wands, which is this burnout. I can't do this anymore. Something's draining my energy. So the world card is representing endings, ending of cycle, and um, really going, All right, I want to put an end to this energy in my life and I really need to have to work out what to do around it. I'm going to have to take some sort of action here. And the world card is very much feeling like you're ready to step into something uh, deeper you're ready to kind of find some something that's really fulfilling here so it's kind of like I'm kind of getting that there's two sides to this it's almost like two sides to the coin here that both the devil the five of wands the ten of wands can represent one thing 
can also represent another thing. And both, you have to find the balance between the two. How do I let go of the negative side to step into the positive, which could be these ambitions, which could feel like, okay, I want to start something new. I want to step into fulfillment. So it really is um, with the world card, this is the last major arcana of the the last card of the major arcana of the fool's journey. And it's kind of like I've been through all of that. I'm ready to release it. I'm ready to let it go. The other thing that's happening is the nodes are changing sign. We've talked a lot about that already on this channel. So I'm not going to go on about that again. But it feels like there's a release. And with that release becomes this sense of what do I do with this energy that I no longer want or need? And so how do I step into the new? So yeah, that is the reading for the Cancer New Moon, which is interesting that there's a really strong Capricorn energy coming through. Like I said, the New Moon is opposing Pluto and Capricorn. And so the New Moon in Cancer usually would like to feel quite sensitive and safe. It could be about finding emotional safety. You might be thinking um, these are planting new seeds around home or family or emotional um, sanctuary. And it's almost like it can't because it's, it's like having to go out and deal with all this other stuff. So it's very much, it's strong, this Pluto energy opposing it, saying it's time to release these old structures and step into something new. So, yeah, I mean, I think there's just a lot. I mean, with the Cardinal Grand Cross, it's like these energies that are opposing each other. They're all wanting to start something new and... Um, at the same time, it's requiring endings to start these new things. And so it can feel like sort of like a crisis of action. Where to next? Where do I go next? But we do have this beautiful Venus in Leo energy with the Queen of Wands, which is making it so much easier. And she's actually, Venus in Leo is making a really nice trine to the North Node in Aries. We're seeing the King of Wands energy here, which is the North Node in Aries, which is saying, right, we need to clean up this mess so that we can move forward. And so I feel like um, there's something benefic that's coming through that's helping that happen. So it's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated energy. The little crab that likes to be safe in its shell is like, hmm, I've got all these other energies I have to deal with that I, I don't necessarily, I'm not used to. But at the same time, there's positive things. So I think the, the crab says, well, I'm ready to kind of take action as well. I'm ready to to go out and fight for the things that I want. So yeah, interesting. So yeah, this could represent because the moon represents your home as well. And the moon is at home in cancer and represents home and family. These could be that the start of taking action that is related to those themes, home, living situation, family, emotional safety, all those sort of things could be at the forefront of the themes surrounding this. So that is the reading for the new moon in cancer. As you know, it's a new moon, so it's a perfect time to set a new intention. What does this Queen and King of Wands want? That's what you're setting the intention with. It's you working that out for yourself. What's ending and what do you want to step into the new? So that's it. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments and take care.